What? No time to explain! Run! Will we be taking a ride this evening, Professor? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on! I'll try to keep up! Oh. Trying to hit me. 
What did you do back there? It's a long story. Run! Oi! Your pardon, Monsieur. Next time, I plan the escape route. It's beautiful. From up here, you'd never know the nation's tearing itself apart. Can... Can things ever go back to the way they were before, do you think? Do you? After everything that's happened. Everything we've lost. So that's it then. The course of history forever altered. Never again to return. Maybe we can't go back. But going forward isn't necessarily an ending. Elise, I... You cheated. You took too long. I love you. Had to dash. You looked so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Je t'aime. Elise. Someone will come and collect it. Surely. Regardez le fer. Initiate. Do you read me? I'm sorry about all this noise. There's a waterfall of signal distortion. It's not looking good. How about one more boost before I lose this connection? Sending you the data now. Close to the goal, okay? So hold fast. Our own research couldn't locate the date and place of Germain's death. So you'll have to find it yourself. Bishop out.
Les gens sont fous. Il est resté trop longtemps à la taverne. Qu'est-ce qu'il a pu passer oh. Quel malin Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention for Le Pelletier. He might have some insight. Ah, uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... De Sade? Mm-hmm. Le Pelletier? Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Make it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head! Madame. Bonjour, citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia.
I know what tainted wine tastes like. There's 50 livres worth this of may wine come here. Handy. What am I going to do with it? Well, you can sell it as a remedy for sore nipples, for all I care. But I'm not buying a drop of it. Trying to poison my customers. Sorry, sir. Ought to call the gendarme. I'll have it taken away as soon as the cart returns. Poisoned wine. What's next? Infected bread. Forgive me. Come here! This is criminal, this is. I'll have it taken away as soon as the car returns. Come see tout son. Sorry, sir. Monsieur Le Pelletier complained of streaks last week. Pardon, mademoiselle. Monsieur Le Pelletier has complained of stuffiness in his office. Could you open the window? What are you on about? Monsieur hates a drafty room. Uh, would this persuade you? Oh, oui, monsieur. Remy, open the window. Monsieur Le Pelletier finds his office a bit stuffy. But, but you said... Just do it! All right. <laughs> 